Hi everyone, I'm Jason and I'm one of the summer scholars from Myon Lab and today I will talk about my project, the Set Comparison Aperture. First, I think it's important to discuss why do we even need to compare sets? By visualizing the comparisons among sets, not only are we able to actually see the overlaps and differences between sets, but it also helps to identify any relationships or patterns in the data. Comparing gene and drug sets can help researchers to focus on a subset of these sets, which provides initial insights, allowing for further exploration. So first, I will discuss the visualization methods available in the app editor, the advantages and disadvantages to each method, as well as the analyses that are performed. Then I will talk about how to use the app editor and application of this app editor in regards to SARS-CoV-2 and my future plans to build upon this project. There are three visualization options that are available in the app editor, which are Venn diagrams, super Venn diagrams, and upset plots. Venn diagrams can be created to display the intersections from two to six user inputted gene or drug sets. However, Venn diagrams are best suited for when you want to compare two to four sets, since visualizing them is really clear and easy to understand. Once you start comparing five or more sets, the Venn diagram often becomes really cluttered. We can see here that we have a Venn diagram comparing three sets and another Venn diagram comparing five sets. The Venn diagram comparing five sets is a lot more cluttered, and it's not as easy to interpret the overlaps of the sets. Another disadvantage we can see in the three set Venn diagram is that areas that don't have any intersection are still included in the diagram, which isn't always useful information. Super Venn diagrams are not Venn diagrams in the traditional sense, but they display Venn diagrams in a tabular format, which can be easier to see the overlap. But if there are a lot of small overlaps among the sets, the Super Venn diagram can become really cluttered as well. But this can be fixed by ignoring the smaller intersections. You can see this in the three diagrams shown, as we see a clear diagram on the left, a cluttered diagram in the middle, and a less cluttered diagram on the right by ignoring some of the intersections. Upset plots were created by Kaleido, which is a community of researchers from JKU Linz, the University of Utah, and Harvard Medical School to develop tools for biological data visualization. While Venn diagrams show these intersections by overlapping shapes, upset plots display the information in a matrix format where the filled in circles represent the set intersections we are examining and the bars represent the cardinalities of the intersections. Upset plots best display the data when 3 to 40 sets are compared. Once you try to compare more than 40 sets, the upset plot can also become very cluttered. But in this upset plot, we can see that comparing 6 sets is very clear and informative in contrast to the 5 set Venn diagram we looked at previously. After the user decides which visualizations they would like to use, the aperture performs further analyses on the intersections by generating a list to display the intersecting elements and sending them to Enricher, as well as performing Fisher's exact test. The various elements of the intersection can be seen by using the options in the drop-down menu. We can see the cardinality of the intersections is displayed, as well as a link to Enricher, which was created by the Myon Lab for enrichment analysis. Afterwards, Fisher's exact test is calculated. This is a statistical significance test to see whether the overlap of sets is significant. This test is computed for all possible pairs of sets and is displayed as a drop down menu for the user to examine. We can see that the p value, odds ratio, and result is produced. With an odds ratio much larger than 1, the association between the sets is strong. If we get a significant result, this indicates that the overlap among the sets is significant. To consolidate all the calculations from Fisher's exact test, a heat map is produced to view all the possible overlaps within a single figure. This displays the negative log of the p-values that were computed. The empty squares show the non-important overlaps since it's not helpful to check the overlap of a set with itself. To generate these visualizations and perform these analyses, the user must first input their gene or drug sets in the form of a TSV file or enter their sets in the text boxes below. Users have a few options to customize their Venn diagram. The user must decide whether they want to produce a Venn diagram, and if they decide to do so, they have the option to choose the color scheme of the Venn diagram and how they wish to save their figure. For the Super Venn diagram, users just have to decide whether they want to produce a Super Venn and the minimum intersection size to be displayed. We saw earlier that when there are a lot of overlaps, the figure can become very cluttered. So we can increase the minimum intersection size 
so that any intersection value below this number won't be displayed in the bottom row of the figure. Similarly, the user can choose whether they want to upset plot, and if they do, they can customize the orientation and color of the figure, decide whether they want the cardinalities or percentages to appear in the figure, and choose how to save their figure. Finally, the user adds information needed to compute Fisher's exact test. This includes the number of background genes and their desired significance level. For humans, we typically use a background of 20,000 genes, which is the default in the Appiter. So now that we know how to use the Appiter, we can look at a few examples in which the Appiter can be applied to the study of SARS-CoV-2. Here we have an upset plot that I generated, which is part of the COVID-19 Drug and Gene Set Library paper created by the lab that was published in Patterns. This figure compares COVID-19 drug screens with similar non-COVID-19 drug screens. These non-COVID-19 drug screens include other viruses and diseases that were conducted similarly, such as Zika, Ebola, and more. The bars on the left display the size of each set. The bars on the top display the size of each intersection, with the drugs corresponding to the intersection labeled above. Again, the fills and circles indicate which sets we are currently examining. Clearly, it's a lot easier to see the overlapped drugs in this figure compared to looking at the individual drug sets. By finding the overlapping drugs, we can look at the subset of the drugs and research them further. This is a SuperVen diagram used to compare three SARS-CoV-2 downregulated gene sets. Each of these gene sets is a human cell line that has been infected with SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 replicates a lot in Cal U3 cells and human intestinal organoid cells, which is why studies have looked into these cell lines to understand how the virus works. Cal U3 cells are a human lung cancer cell line involved with mucus production, and patients infected with SARS-CoV-2 tend to have respiratory issues as well as gastrointestinal symptoms, which is why we look into human intestinal organoid cells as well. To interpret this, we see that the numbers on the right display the size of each set, the numbers on the bottom display the size of each intersection, and the numbers on top display how many sets the intersection is part of. The red arrow shows where all three sets are lined up, indicating that there are five genes that overlap among all three sets. If we examine more genes, we can see which genes overlap among all the sets, and this could be interesting to further look into so we can better understand how the virus works. Using the same SuperVen diagram, we were able to see that 33 genes overlapped between the bottom two sets. So using the app editor, I was able to obtain a list of those 33 genes and sent them to Enricher for further analysis. Here we can see the results of the enrichment analysis. Many of these genes are involved in the cell cycle, such as the regulation of the G2M phase transition, mitotic cell cycle phase transition, and the spindle assembly checkpoint. This suggests that the downregulation of these genes can make it difficult for these cells to mount an immune response. Overall, the set comparison appetitor is really useful when you want to visualize the comparisons between your gene or drug sets and analyze them a bit further. The appetitor can generate Venn diagrams, super Venn diagrams, and upset plots, which are each useful depending on the situation. Publication-ready figures are produced with this appetitor, and we are able to see that this appetitor can be applied to real-world situations as seen from the upset plot from the patterns paper. Also, we were able to find the significance of the set overlap and conduct enrichment analysis of the intersecting sets. The goal is to visualize and analyze the sets in a useful manner and help identify any significant overlaps among the sets. As a result, this can bring to light any commonalities in the data, which can allow for further study and analysis. This project can be continued to be improved by making the figures interactive. This can improve the user experience and can possibly be accomplished by using JavaScript libraries D3 and 3. Generating custom fields where the user can choose between file uploads and text inputs, or separating the various visualization options can clean up the Appiter interface for a better experience as well. Finally, it can also be useful to add more visualization options to provide a variety of resources for researchers, as well as add more analyses for drug sets. I would like to thank everyone in the lab, especially Avi for his continued guidance and support throughout this project, Sherry for organizing this entire program, my collaborators Daniel, Kathleen, Max, and Errol for answering all my questions, and of course my fellow summer scholars for your feedback and inputs. I would especially like to thank Jesse for our SARS-CoV-2 gene sets. Thanks for listening.